Attention shoppers. Attention. If you like The Office, you'll like Superstore. It's the new funniest comedy on TV, and The Office's rightful heir. That's my new car! Superstore reopens tonight, 8, 7 central on NBC. What's up? It's Chris from Stone Fox Media, and I hope everyone's having a blessed day. I have to admit, there is some shocking news that just came down from Microsoft and even Sony. I know, I know. So I'm going to go ahead and get straight to it. So if you were looking at getting your hands on a PlayStation VR anytime soon, that's probably not going to happen because Sony went live with more PlayStation VR orders and then they sold out literally within minutes. So uh, they have been intermittently opening up uh, VR orders. They're like, hey, guys, we got more VR headsets. And then they all just get snatched up. Now, this kind of goes against what everyone else is saying. Like, oh, VR is kind of going to be a fad. It's, it's not really going to do anything. Then why do they keep selling out of them? I don't, I don't understand. It. Logic would dictate that there should be tons of these things. You should be able to find these things like you can find Wii U's. Ha, ha. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, come on. That was funny, everybody. That was funny. It's so funny. I don't even know. But, yeah, that, that's actually quite shocking. I did pre-order mine, so at least I'm, I'm in the running. Uh, moving off from that news, and this is actually related to Microsoft. It looks like the Xbox Play Anywhere is launching on September 13th. So this is basically Microsoft's new service that's going to allow you to be able to play any game that you buy digitally on Xbox One and to be able to play it on Windows 10 devices anywhere. Uh, they did say that the update uh, in August is for the service itself and then it's going to have the actual service launching in September 13th. Uh, it did say that it's part of Windows 10 anniversary and then it's going to be beginning with the launch of ReCore, uh, Horizon, Forza Horizon 3, Gears of War 4, Halo Wars 2 and others so they're going to be putting out more information on their Xbox site uh, to give you more information of when they're going to start doing more cool stuff. So that is something, I mean I guess that's their attempt to compete with steam i don't know how that's going to work out and so basically if you buy it on this you won't be able to play it on steam i know a lot of people are going to be salty about that but it's microsoft they're going to get their micro dollar somewhere they're going to get them somewhere now this is the most shocking part of the microsoft news that has actually come down today because all of those people even myself who was talking about the xbox one slim or xbox one s I was actually shocked to hear that this thing is actually going to support 4K game upscaling. Microsoft has officially confirmed this. Uh, they have come out there and said that uh, the new Microsoft uh, Xbox One X will upscale every game to 4K. Every game to 4K. Every game to 4 I don't even, I can't even, I can't even right now. So, uh, yeah, the confirmation has come from Mike Ybarra. He did send out a tweet when uh, one person, uh, Curtis Bragshaw, had actually asked him, can you confirm if Xbox One S will upscale games to 4K? All product information seems to indicate this is not the case. And he said yes. He was also asked by Stuart DeLube uh, that all games or just uh, games that support 4K upscaling. He said all games. All of them. All of them. This is a big deal, everybody. It's a big deal. So basically, they're saying, gone are the days of 720p with the Xbox One S. Gone. No more ashification. No more dustiness. <laughs> All of it is gone. Now, I know Scorpio's coming, but we don't know when it's coming. So... I'm torn. Should I go pre-order this thing just to see? Because I have, I, I want to see, I want to see this. I, I don't even know right now. I don't want to buy it. I don't know when Scorpio's coming. I know it's coming, but I don't know when it's coming. This is a problem because now I got the dusty Xbox One when this one is all shiny and buttery. It just looks like a golden corral roll. It's just, it's done. Oh, Microsoft. How dare you make something better? It's not fair. <laughs> it's not fair. <sighs> what should I do? I am torn, everybody. I am torn. Well, that's all the news I got for you guys right now. Like, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook to notice as soon as my news becomes available. Thank you guys for watching. 
and I'll holler at y'all later. Thank you guys for watching my whole entire episode. I really do appreciate it. Hit that like and subscribe button. And after that, go to my Stone Fox Media store. Get cool things like shirts, iPhone cases, you name it. Uh, you got mugs. There's nothing in the mug. Welcome to HD Nation, your guide to the best in HD content and the best in home theater gear, no matter what your budget is. I'm Patrick Norton. Hi, and I'm Robert Heron. we got a lot of great stuff coming up in today's show, but surprising and amazing, we actually stole this out of the Rev3 Games Lab. Stole? So, hi, Adam. Adam. Hi, Tara. Hi, Say Dad. hello to the X-Bone. Hi, Anthony. Yeah, well, yeah, basically this is the Xbox One. PlayStation 4 launched last week. Xbox One launched this week. Um, we've had some early questions. Are they any good as home theater devices? Well, it depends on what you're looking for. Right now, Sony is considering supporting DLNA, uh, basically media streaming, if you have a large media collection, to the PlayStation 4. The PlayStation 4 doesn't have a red laser, but it does have a blue laser. Blue laser. Blue rays use blue lasers, right? Yeah. Yeah. Or, or violet. Or violet. Over that <laughs> end of the color spectrum, but but basically the the PlayStation 4 has a whole lot of shaders, 1152 to the 768 on the Xbox One, which means it has a whole lot of graphics power, and it's all being thrown at the screen, which is a good thing, right? Actually, it's got a 50% advantage in in graphics processing power in terms of the cores over the Xbox One. This is good for gamers. Two. PlayStation, Sony didn't really give a crap about anything other than uh, games and playing Blu-rays for the PlayStation 4. So if you want a Blu-ray player that plays games, the PlayStation 4 is perfect. It will not play DVDs. It will not play CDs. It will not stream media from your home server yet, although Sony is considering uh, adding DLNA. Those old legacy formats need to go away anyway, right? Right. right. Yeah. I, I, it has to have Blu-ray, though. I'm sorry. I do 